they're away. Gorak jumping out alertly towards the far side. Biggles handy over there under Ryan Moore. Cruyff turn going full with the white blaze. On the near side in the all blue, shining blue. Uh, Wall is handy, probably about fourth now, just ahead of Biggles, who's under restraint. Rainbow Fire is just chasing the leaders on a light blue cap. Far side, bless him, yellow and black. Last year's winner on the near side, the three year old Streets of Gold in orange. Accidental agent from Star of Orion. Ropey Guest is switched uh, markedly towards the far side. Uh, towards the rear, Probe is undercover on the near side, the grey. Popmaster alongside Montasib. It's Cruyff Turn that leads the field by three pulls parts of a length to Gorak. Then the gatekeeper on the far side, handy now in the orange cap. A while, near side, shine. Blue. Behind those then is Biggles and Bless Him. Back in the field on the near side, Streets of Gold just being asked a bit of a question with Rainbow Fire and Star of Orion, an accidental agent as they race on down. Downhill now with about a furlong and a half left to cover. And it's Cruyff turn just in front. Gorak away to the right is the gatekeeper. Further right, Bless Him. On the left is Shining Blue. Awal is coming through pretty strongly now. Orange with the black sleeves. Far side, Ropey Guest with accidental agent. And they race up to the line, a very open race. Biggles is now charging through under Ryan Moore, so he's produced the horse brilliantly. And Biggles clears away. Biggles wins the Bunbury Cup. Ropey gets far side second. Then bless him and a while fighting it out for third. And they're followed home by accidental agent Star of Orion and the gatekeeper. Chucks away. Biggles has bolted up in the Bunbury Cup in the Cars of Breeder. Lady Cobham for Rafe Beckett. Quick double for Ryan Moore. And he's had to work about as hard here as he had to work in the superlative stakes, to be honest with you. Because once he got a gap, it was beyond doubt very quickly. He's bolted up. Biggles in the style of a horse who's worth his mark of 100 and a whole load more. Ryan Moore limbering up now, perhaps for a big race treble with Little Big Bear in the July Cup, but he'll be opposed by the trainer of this horse, Rafe Beckett, who, with the rain that's fallen, will have his own high hopes of taking today's feature race with Kin Ross. But let's concentrate on what this horse has achieved. Biggles just angling for a gap between the pace setter, Stroyf Turn, who's beating her a shriek in red and white colours, Gorak, who's run well again. And then as soon as he got there, it's just hands and heels nudged him out. Yeah, it's a good performance, isn't it? He was, up. he was waiting for room, Biggles, in behind them, but... Yeah, he's forged on. He's well clear of a, of a bunched finish in yeah, behind him. I think Ropey Guest has come through for second ahead of a whirl and bless him. I think mm -hmm. that is the official one, two, three, four. Third was two a while and fourth was, was bless him number four. Ropey Guest, what a horse yeah. he is. Second again in one of these big yeah, ones. Fantastic. What a money spinner. Great run from him. But nowhere near good enough to lay a glove on on Biggles. The connections have been patient with this horse. He didn't stand a lot of racing in his younger days. He's a six-year-old who still hasn't had stacks of racing, but it's all come together for him the last 15 months or so. He's been able to stand more racing. He's progressed with that racing, and it, as I say, barely, barely runs a bad race ever, and it's a seventh career win for him. His, his handicap his first handicap win came from a mark of 74. He's just landed this big one from a mark of 100. So he just keeps on steadily improving, but he looks ready for even better company, doesn't he now? But he is just a moment of concern if you'd back Biggles. You're thinking, right, where's Ryan Moore going to get a run? Cruyff turn edges towards Gorak. Maroon sleeves into red and white silks, middle of the picture, but he's going so well, Biggles, that he just nudges. shoulders his way through and... He away does. he goes. Yeah, he had to sort of worm through the pack, didn't he, a little bit. But uh, Gorak and Cruyff turn were going nowhere, and the gap came, and he, had, he was full of horse, and he was quickly fired on through. So good performance from him. In behind, a while has run another big race yeah. in a big handicap. Just if you are getting paid out for multiple places, accidental agent, the old boy, has finished an excellent fifth here, mm -hmm. and star of Orion, the winner's stable companion, has finished sixth, and Gorak has finished seventh. <laughs> Does it go eighth as well? Uh, who knows, but that's the first seven. <laughs> Hopefully you've got it covered there. Um, but action down the middle of the track yeah, as well. Yeah, nobody wanted the far the, side, even with all that pace yeah. high. Yeah, I mean, on the going stick, the far side is the slowest part of the track, but good to see that across from the stand side to the centre, it doesn't look like you need to be anywhere in particular, does it? Bang it's up the middle bang, is where, they've, where, yeah. the, where the principles have come. Yeah, they have, they have. But been a good day for Ryan Moore, another one. Um, Cruyff turn went out in front, set a strong pace, and he's he's actually boxed on quite well in mid division, but he just couldn't sustain it in a in a 
field of this quality and size. Um, Gorak typically has run well. Pace has been been pretty unrelenting here, I yeah. think. It was a strong gallop. It was a strong gallop, and Biggles is, you know, it's a ideal ride from Ryan Moore, mid pack, getting loads of cover, not worrying about potentially getting caught in a bit of trouble but ultimately the horse had so much up his sleeve that he was very quickly to fire through any trouble. Quite an impressive could. horse to look at Biggles isn't he? Is. He? he is, he's big big unit. And, and, and as I say in his younger days I'd imagine that they've maybe had a few weaknesses and setbacks that have, have stopped him from racing as much but that patience that Rafe Beckett and his team have shown with him has really paid off in the last 15 months or so and it shows it, you know, what maturity can bring I suppose because um, as I say, I'm sure he must have had some issues but in his younger days, but he's, he's there now and he's, he's thriving. It was a steady old start to the day here on July Cup Day, but the last hour or so, this place has come alive with sparkling performances. I mean, nothing's going to match City of Troy, but that was very, very good for a handicap performance from Biggles. He's just, as Martin said, wormed his way through and powered home. Yeah, and I remember... Uh, after he won at Sandown a few years ago now and, and interviewing Rafe Beckett afterwards who just said how he has so much ability but he's very, very tricky and he was gelded a few starts prior to that. But as, as Nick said, with time has come maturity and they're really getting the ability out of him now, five to one. Dave, he was very impressive. Really he was second serious, while third. seriously impressive and as Martin said, he did have to burgle his way through so it could have gone wrong but he had the right man on board to make sure it didn't. In, um, in Ryan Moore. I, I think it was interesting when we... Um, no, no, there's such a small field in the July Cup. It's not going to matter, is it? They're going to come towards this uh, 